in front of the Red Six Speed Shop out here. Got this awesome YJ Wrangler over here. It needs a little bit of tuning work on it, but take let's take a look at this thing. Look at the suspension travel on this. It's got a full Genrite kit. This was a Leaf Spring Jeep, and it's been switched over to Bilstein coilovers with King Air bumps. It's got long travel arms. Take a look at this. It is just the sickest Jeep there is. This thing's totally street legal, but can climb up anything. Blast through the desert like a raptor. This thing is so sick. I've ridden in this so many times, helped build it. Uh, this is my buddy Ramon's. He did such an amazing job on this Jeep. There's just a couple things that we need to do on it. Um, so right now it's running pretty good, but it's not passing smog the way it's supposed to. Gotta have it street legal here in California. Um, so even with the stroker motor on it and all kinds of cool stuff he's done, we gotta get this thing running a little bit better. It's just, it, it was close to passing, but it was just putting out a little bit too much. Luckily he's got the sniper EFI on this. So he's gonna be able to get this thing tuned up really, really easily. Um, I'm pretty familiar with the sniper. He just brought it over here so I could just spend a few minutes getting it all tuned up for him, make it so it's a little bit crisper, a little cleaner. And uh, we're gonna make this thing so it passes with flying colors and picks up a little bit more horsepower. So sitting here in the driver's seat and you can see the screen here for the sniper EFI. Looks like just a regular dashboard, which it pretty much is, but it's touchscreen, which is really cool. Um, so we're able to go in here and make some tuning adjustments. So in this case, all we did is just some basic fuel. Um, changed the target AFRs a little bit, the air fuel ratios. It was a little bit rich for my taste. Um, it's down in like the 11s, the 12s, I think, whoever did it. Was just kind of make, trying to make it run smooth. It was kind of a new build. Just wanted to make sure there was no issues. Didn't want to over lean it. Um, so that's what we did. Leaned it out a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit better. Also made some adjustments to the coolant enrichment setting, which means uh, that's basically like the setting that determines how much more fuel it gets when it's cold um, to help it run smoother, help it fire right up and do all that kind of stuff. Out here in Cali, I think that it was just too, it was too much. I think they were a little bit too conservative with all that, which totally get it, but I think that's what the issue was. So made some changes, let's see how it does. Man, that thing fired right up. Look at that. So right now it's a little bit on the rich side at 11.6 to one, but that's cause it's really cold. Um, I mean, for California it's cold. Engine's dead cold, hasn't run at all yet. Uh, so we have it set up a little bit rich. That's gonna quickly, quickly gain its way up into the 12s. At idle, we're gonna have this thing in the high 12s. Uh, and then when you're cruising, you know, just a partial throttle, it's gonna be in the 14s actually. So leaner, ideal is like 13.8 to one. So we actually have it leaner than ideal when you're just cruising, so it's a partial throttle, gets you better gas mileage, um, it's gonna give you better throttle response, but then the more you lay onto it, more on that gas pedal, it's gonna put it more at that 13.8 to one. So wide open throttle, we've got it at like 13.4, 13.5, so that it does have a little bit of wiggle room. You don't wanna make it too lean, and then have a pinging issue. You know, the gas is a little bit questionable sometimes, so you don't wanna cut it too close, but, it should be way, way better. It was at like 12.1 uh, at wide open throttle, which is super rich. So you can see here before I made the changes, literally just spitting out raw fuel, like insane. Um, so this thing definitely was set up really, really, really rich. Um, we're gonna make it better here. We already made it better. So you can see here, see that target AFR, that's the number right here in the middle. It's climbing already. Um, it's gonna be right at like 12 and a half here in just a minute. So you can see it's not up to temperature yet over here. It's showing you the percentage change for the coolant enrichment. So we're just gonna sit here and let it warm up for a minute. And then we'll just check out the uh, throttle response, come back here and uh, you'll see all that spitting out here is gonna be a lot better. All right, so we got this Jeep all the way up to operating temperature now. You can see coolant enrichment on the right here. It's at 100. That means it's right where it should be, 12.6 to one air fuel ratio. You can hear this thing is just idling really nice and smooth. So if we hop out, you'll see some residue still from where it did that cold start and it wasn't right. But you can see no more fuel dumping out the exhaust, which I know that's a pretty low bar to cross to not have raw fuel squirting out, but that's where we were. Uh, so all good now, things got way better fuel um uh, economy for sure which means better horsepower more efficient leaner is faster rich a rich motor is a happy motor because it'll sound like it's all good but it's not making peak power so now 
if I just blip the throttle. For this inline six stroker Jeep, that is quick throttle response. This thing is so mean. It's like 300 horsepower, which for one of these is awesome for normally aspirated. Nothing crazy at all. It's a stroker motor, a little bit of a cam, good headers, good exhaust, sniper EFI, like we mentioned. Just a really dialed motor. It's nice and torquey. So, I mean, it's not fast, you know? It's got big 37 inch tall tires on it, you know? And this thing weighs plenty because uh, of all the stuff added to it. So it's not fast. So I don't want to make that implication, but it's not slow. And that in and of itself is pretty impressive on these Jeeps. Sometimes you do all this stuff to them. And if you don't touch the motor, they're just so slow. It like can't even get out of its own way. It's like annoyingly slow. And this is not that way. This Jeep is tons of fun to drive. It's got a ton of suspension travel. It has like nine inches of down travel and then like another five or six up so up we have it set up right now you can see there's not a ton of gap here between the bump stop and the plate obviously that bump stop is going to move when it hits a hydraulic bump stop um but that's designed so when you hit a you know when the road goes away out from under you the tires are going to follow the road and the body and the frame of the jeep is going to just stay nice and flat so when you're going through the fast stuff the whoops the tr the the tires are going to kind of fall down into it and follow it when it hits a bump that goes upward you've got these dual rate springs on it so it's going to gain um spring rate really quickly it makes it so it doesn't give you that really harsh feeling like when you hit a bump uh, you know when you hit the bump stops so it makes it so it just feels like it's floating things really dialed really does good you know us and our raptors cannot shake this thing he's always just right there in our mirrors and in fact before i did my coilovers he was he was actually faster than me out there in the, in the fast stuff even though i had air bumps on the rear and i had long travel leaves you know the front on my on my raptor was stock and this thing actually did better in the fast stuff than a stock raptor which is awesome so this jeep definitely gets it done rhino lined or bed lined the whole interior it's real bare bones you know there's nothing crazy here but the thing is awesome he's had this thing forever we know we off-roaded this thing in every stage just from with stock leaves and 33s all the way up to what it is now with extended wheelbase and like just did a they did a great job building this so much work went into this jeep it is not a show truck by any means but it really it's really nice when you sit and look at it they did an excellent job so this is the uh the fun project going on right now i'm gonna keep at it a little bit make sure it's all good take it over to the smog shop see what it does but it's gonna be dialed now we're gonna at least be really really close so can't wait to show you guys this thing out in the desert but that's our little update on this jeep and uh got more information coming for you right now with the red six gear and the new collections coming out like i mentioned last week that wilkesboro collection that's the new one keep your eyes out for that the website actually launches today so if you're seeing this video website's already up go check it out along with that will be the red six collection which is like the red six gear the red you know everything that has like the red six logo on it that's all available for pre-order right now so there's shirts there's jet tag keychains um there's going to be all sorts of other stuff added to there right now we're just getting started so there's not as much um but definitely check that out shirts hoodies jet tag keychains those are there wilkes barrel collection you'll see it there there's no photos yet it hasn't dropped yet so it'll give you a little preview of what's to come but keep your eyes open for that that collection is going to drop next monday so a week from today all of that will be available for pre-order you'll get to see the designs first on instagram we'll do a video on it of course it's going to be awesome can't wait to show that to you guys so definitely head over to, to uh the new website which is red six dot design which is really cool it's there's no dot com or anything it's just dot design red six spelled out r-e-d-s-i-x dot design check that out you can see all the gear that we've got going on some photos some awesome stuff going on there just getting started we got way more on the way so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe so you don't miss anything and we'll see you next week